wish we could all share our maps somehow. Oh, dude. Men are emptying, emptying their bladders wrong, according to a urologist. What do you mean? By not are you to do it? By your car, when it comes are you to peeing, back? there are plenty of ways um, men can go wrong. Car. How do you pee correctly? Yeah, just explain the correct. According to a top one. urologist, men are also getting it wrong when it comes to how they pee. With an expert arguing men should be taking a slash seated rather than standing. Yeah, I do that. Well, Sitting down is not only more hygienic, but it's also good for, for bladder health. Uh, I just care about the knee. In my experience, oh, oh, men oh, sitting oh, down I is said, something of a special R slash sink pisters would like the word. <laughs> I just say real, <laughs> <men>. <laughs> real <laughs> heroes. Real <laughs> You can still sit down at the sink, guys. You don't have to give up. Yeah, I, mean, I just mean like the hygienic part, but then again, that it's, it's twofold. Hey, because it drips straight into the toilet instead of all over the ground. Like, I've seen some people live like fucking monsters and their piss is all over the ground. It's like, uh, wipe dude. it up at least, you right. fucking fucking weirdo. So fucking so like woke sort of article, woke article. The data sort of like analy analytics function. firm surveyed more than 7,000 men from 13 countries, determining that the majority of people with penises, they're called men, guys. Come on. Just still yeah, prefer to stand bad. while doing a number one. I don't understand the standing part. Like, honestly, sitting is nice because I can scroll through my phone. You, <laughs> I'm sure you, <laughs> you sit is the place. Just my knees me. hurt you from standing for no, five no. minutes straight. You, you pee know. sitting for your bladder health. I pee sitting because I'm a lazy shit. We're I mean, that is literally it. I am <laughs> lazy. <laughs> It feels nice, you know, I can chill. I pee sitting. 40% of German men, or sorry, 40% of, of German people with penises people sit with down penises. to piss. I would like a urinal installed in my home. Yeah. What if you, what if you own you a penis, it but it hasn't, been, it hasn't been hooked up yet? I was going to say, that's the only place more. That's the only place I don't like to sit. Like, that, on a toilet is literally public upgrading. toilets, because, like, wait, wait, I've that? seen what people do to those Nothing. things. Never mind. Like, other Hang dudes on, are what nasty. The fuck? I was just asking. Twenty-seven percent of Australians said they never bring their butt to the toilet. Oh, they just hover. What? As a nation, they fucking got those squat they're gains squatters? from just. Yeah. I don't know what that means. That doesn't really. That means mean they hover. Hang on, they hover. Yeah, you hover. yeah, they hover just ass. hover. Ass Even hover. their own toilet at their own <laughs> Australians home. Australians can hover. Confirmed. Gravity doesn't affect them as much. They just float. No, no, no. Okay, oh, sorry. We all no. float down here. Okay, they worded this really badly. 25% of Australians sit every time when they piss, but 27% said they never sit down to pee. They only pee standing up. Oh, pussies. <laughs> you, you never take a shit okay, and have to piss at the same time? Uh, on the way to, towards the mall. Yeah. Got like Y intersection, you know? So me going 20 should m mean I get less damage from zombies whacking the front of my car, right? I'm only going 20. You'd think that, right? Yeah, that's why I'm asking before I destroy them, like my front end. Nope. I'm going around most of them, but some of them end up running into the front <laughs> end. It's the same damage all the same. That's Despite stupid. Germany having the highest proportion of seated peeing, they also have a local term called a Sitzpinkler. <laughs> used to be <laughs> someone who sits around the set and playing they are <laughs> <feminine. They're> Based. <laughs> It ain't effeminate to sit and pee. It's comfy. Do you sit pinkler? <laughs> just like, fucking. You, you know, you know what? People who say that, you know what they are? What? People don't actually have to work hard enough to get tired. Well, it actually, it <laughs> takes. So everyone else is like, man, standing I, up. I'm just sitting there. I just want a break, man. Yeah, it's I mean that's honestly what I do. No one's bothering me. Like I said, the only, the only ones that really bother me are public toilets, just because, like I said, I know what dudes oh, yeah, do to bad. them. I know how bad they are at aiming to the point where why is it all over the seat? Like if it was one section, I'd get it, but you pissed on both sides and the back. The uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what it's like for you, uh, skinned motherfuckers, but occasionally when you've got a when you got the skin. foreskin, sometimes. What? You can't just pull it back to pee? Well, sometimes you don't pull it back far enough, or like, it's just, He's maybe it's sprinkler. just a bit dry that yes. day, I don't know. And it can like, catch it and it turns to dry? a and then, and then Yeah, like, what the, the fuck are you like, talking the next about? Guy comes that sounds in looks around and it's just like... <laughs> Admittedly, <laughs> I'm just saying, the, wipe it up. As an adult, look after I wipe yourself. it up afterwards if that happens. Yeah, because, you but know, most of these adult. people don't, yeah, they're no, fucking that, nasty. That's, uh, that's why well, I don't they wouldn't use the... They wouldn't be sure if they're wiping up the last guy's pee, too. Yeah, exactly. 
I wipe up before I even use. Or if there's just... a wiki how on like why. That's why you don't use a catch on How do I stream? <laughs> how to pee? <laughs> We're from the construction. Pat, uh, I got down admit, towards for, the Y. For, for, when you when you pose that question, the immediate image that came to mind was you remember when someone like stuck like a stuck, stuck like a flashlight into the exhaust pipe. Oh of the yeah, car, <laughs> and then it just starts going and it's just going <laughs> <laughs> and flopping back. And forth. I was hoping it was gonna explode, but it didn't. Fuck, that fire? Because oh, he's actually telling me how to pee. This is like why can't I pee? Here's how I can make why myself can't pee. Why can't I pee? <laughs> why did you come in the tow truck? Why okay, basically. Yeah, I was standing base. up to Did you guys already clear this a lot of strain on your, uh, on your, uh, the muscles in your pelvis. Yes. And, um, sitting down relieves a lot of the tension that's in there, and it's fine to do that, it's better to do that. You can, you can really hurt your, uh, your pelvic muscles by peeing standing up. Personally, I like... Uh, speed peeing if I am peeing standing up, you know, you just really push oh, that yeah, shit out as fast as possible. We're supposed to hurt a little bit. <laughs> oh my challenge! <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I wanted to like the, work the them muscles. The, the pressure on the fucking. I ain't never gonna have prostate your issues. Your lips is a little too high. They stop fucking. <laughs> you know, you know when you like, you know when you go like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're fucking some bullets. Uh, I could I I I've never feel had water this ever in my dick. <laughs> No, the water. Dude, I never yeah, I can't you never stop. know when you're going to pass a kidney stone. <laughs> yeah, but if you're going to pass a kidney stone, this put a lot of pressure behind that bitch. Have, like it, a have it blast out immediately. <laughs> yeah, but you want to know when it's coming, dude. Cause when it no, happens, you don't. It's, it's You get really nauseous. You need no, to know when it's it going to it's gonna suck no matter what, so might as well push it out faster, right? I mean, come on. No. It's a kidney stone. Just, just L, don't get a kidney there's stone. A, there's a reason I was going to say, just eat better. You pass it very slowly. It's gonna tear everything on the way out, anyways. Not, and, uh, <laughs> not, not, not if you're clenching. I mean, it can help make ease and go out. I think. Bull. I'd rather Bull just shit, power push, push it. it. You, gotta, you, you just let it come out. You just draw a target on some cardboard. Push. <laughs> yeah, fucking. I want to see if I'm like a BB <laughs> gun over here. <laughs> Imagine not having an infinite cobblestone generator in your kidneys. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> BRB going to the local airsoft field. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh jeez, what the fuck? There's a guy. Uh, I, I, I'm the gravelator, and my superpower is. There was a guy I knew up north that uh, used to constantly get kidney stones to the point where he was just used to it. Like it was like sounding for him or something. Where they just kind of came out after a while. But if you were ever you stop that sentence. If you were ever near him while he was peeing, like in a urinal, you'd hear it go tink 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 against the porcelain. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, he just needed to eat better or something. Like, there's My something wrong with get them. Diet's better, dude. That's hey, insane. camera guy's dead. Like, I have, I have a shit ass diet. Past camera guy. Yeah, I've never had a kidney stone. It's mostly genetic, honestly. Well, motherfuckers need to stop reading. Yeah. Stop. I agree. <laughs> That's why I'm fucking that all work. that uh, processed cheese. Man. Ah, processed cheese is where it's at. Fuck you, you Canadian ways. With your bag milk. You don't know what you're talking. Come on, no one could have known that even happened. Bad time we <laughs> that was so dumb. Not even fair. Freaking Koopa stomped and skimmed off her head. for making me look bad. Yeah. Is it a wall? Oh fuck, I fell through the map. Jesus. You can't go that way. <laughs> Fuck it. Alright, well now I know. <laughs> 
literally popped up a thing saying you can't go that way after it threw us down through the map. Stop getting betrayed like we did. I, I, I know. I, I don't want to think about Max forgets to tell his friends he's been bitten Wilson, that stupid melon head either. <laughs> Sorry. No, I won't say his name ever again. It doesn't matter now, anyway. Oh. I don't know. I feel like I'll keep it on. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no hacker. <laughs> I might be corpo, but I'm no hacker. That's for other people to do. Other people smarter than me. Well, come on, what are you running through at like two miles an hour for, dude? As I take the grandiest turn. <laughs> come on, just go straight, you stupid car. God damn. Making me look bad. Why? It was red, wasn't it? Alright, you know what? Fuck you. Come here, come here. Come here! Well thought. <laughs> you don't even need to use it if you're not into hacking. Okay, cool. Well, because I was thinking, he said he already paid for it. Like, Golden Arm Dude. What's the name, Dex? He said he already paid for the bot. Like, money has already been handed over. So, I think we're good. So, I shouldn't have to use the card. But also, at that same time, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> ah, there you are. One second. Oh. What's up, buddy? Hi, sure you fit on that tiny thing? Let me hear what you squared away. That is way too small on you. Been waiting long? Been waiting long? My mother always said patience pays off, so... He's been waiting like three, four days while I just work and make like 70 grand. <laughs> uh, what's the word on T-Bug? T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Well, Maelstrom. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. Okay, so we he can paid up the front? Pot and double it. Eesh. But also, yeah, don't pay up front. Well, whatever. Pay. Let's go get this tech. You Next scheme yet? Nomad. You got a plan? Had technician. You could talk to him about his bike, and he'll tune it. Oh, that's cool. Shh. Gonna be long. What do you say? I didn't say. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme it yet? You got a plan? Hello? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. Hopefully I can find that Besides, 10 grand somewhere. Cred chips laced. He already paid. Well, shit. Soon as they learn that, it'll be our blood on the floor. That's you might wanna fill them in on that. I mean, tell them we trade in toxic cash? Then they will be pissed. Well, hey, sometimes it's better to play with an open hand, you know? Just saying. So, into the Borg Beast then. Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Ain't got enough room for two, so you jump into my car. I hate these pork fuckers. Just had to be them. What the Just fuck? Just a gang my like any other, right? What the hell's the going on? They follow the God weird. and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it. And what pisses them the fuck off? With Maelstrom, you just never know.
<laughs> Don't look at me or I'll poof. Don't look at me or I'll stop existing. <laughs> what, you didn't hear any of that? How's everyone doing? All right, we're gonna do some more Baldur's Gate today. I was a little bit busy and lost track of time, so I'm here now. That's the important bit. So ever since that vacation, I've been exhausted. If you haven't been able to tell, so sorry for the weird start times constantly, but you know, it's whatever. I end up putting up what we're doing for the day over in Discord, so if you're over there, you know what's going on. It's over there in the announcements channel. Alright, um... What were we doing last? I think we're about to move around Act 2. We'll check on that in a sec, though. Let's get right over to gaming. Pretty sure it was... Yeah, because we weren't doing Moonrise just yet. We were doing the area around the shadow. Now that we have the lantern. The lantern, which I should have fully took from the start. Yeah, then again, I was going to come here anyways. I don't know. Everyone likes when I have ears. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Pretty sure we're right at the border. Yeah, okay, here we are. And then... I was thinking about passing this as, actually, so let's do that. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, if it's considered offhand, let me pass it to Az. That way I know we can do it. Like, yeah, I won't be silencing anyone, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I forgot the new thing. Oh. Alright, so everyone's able to have their weapons out, which is nice. Where did we want to go? I think first was this western direction, so. Alright, take the road right. Best be on my way. Oh, okay, I know where we are. And then it's like that way. That was the one direction we didn't go. Seems like no one of significance was lost, so it's kind of okay. Moon shield. Sounds fun. Why are the standing torches at all funny? He didn't have a little bugger for me to rip out of his dome. Buckets. K. 
carriages. Other goodies. No traps, please. Prime spot for an ambush. Shit. That might be worth a look. Need to find a way forward. As soon as I saw the red dots popping up. Alright, what are they? It's a basil. Little monkey dudes. Little monkey looking dudes. have to go that way. Light on my feet. Let's finish looting. Open up. Okay. How much further can I go? All right, let's push this shit in. Let's come from... Actually, yeah, that'll be the closest. All right, Carla. Pass without a Oh, speaking of pass without a trip. Whatever trade. comes, I'm ready. I can't afford to fail. You still have pass without a trace, or is that something else? Like, these are my prepared spells. Okay, so I don't have to prepare it. Can I do double pass without a trace? I have to survive this. I actually want to see. Wait, no, pass without a trace is a level two spell. Never mind, that would waste a level two. What to do? What path lies before me? Oh, I immediately broke it. Well, it's about time to hit that old dusty road. There's a way to get a surprise round on them. Very well. Just act like we don't see them. Ah, good. Okay, so yeah, we got the surprise round. Ambushing the ambushers, always my favorite. Aww. Did we need a short rest? Hey, whoa. I, I guess I'll check out this. got all three of hers. So we definitely did a long rest. That's right, that's a bonus action. Can you even get up there without jumping? No. Alright then. Covered. On to you. If I do this, are you gonna hit today? Yeah, you, know, you know, we never try the sunbeam. Let's try sunbeam in that fool. <laughs> Alright, that's kinda cool. I wish he didn't save though. Alright, what is. What's the save? I guess they'll tell me over here.
What's the save? It's not telling me. On save. Let's save. 14. Okay, so she just needs a 14. That's not too bad, but then they end up blind if it works. That's cool. Got to press on. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, Karlak. It's go time. Time for a cull. Click on my heels. Be quick. Can you? No, you can't. Okay. Well. Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I completely forgot you're the one holding the thing. There, do that. How are you gonna roll a one? <laughs> Jerk. Okay. Um, that's everything. Oh yeah, I can do a cleave. Guys, really? Okay. Damn, dude, these guys can take a hit. All right, 68 health apiece. All right. I'm surprised I'm not getting multiple hits. Feels weird. Yeah. Die. Wait, can I throw a motherfucker into another motherfucker? No. <laughs> Come on, Carla, stop fucking up. Yes, I can. He's busy. No, no, jump from there. Do you really need all that ups? Alright, I guess. Hide. There we go. That's what I like to see from you. Beat him up. Am I only getting two attacks? Usually I get at least three. And then four if I use my action surge. Count on me. Really, you missed? Alright, 
least hit him with the flourish. Okay. I guess you live. Damn, okay, I guess we gotta waste one more attack on that guy. I'm glad she's consistently doing 18s. She's just kicking the crap out of this thing. And yeah, so apparently half my spells are gone and stuff. So I thought I I thought I long rested before we left the camp yesterday, but apparently not. Alright, let's knock that out real quick. We're just sitting here. Actually, wait, let me loot first. What am I doing? <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. will guide me where did I put produce flame again there it is I forgot that was a distance thing. So, oh, they did get it. Okay, cool. Still breathing, despite everything. What's inside? I guess the majority of this has nothing in it. Finally, seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Yeah. Remember when you told me night orchids were your favorite flowers? Uh, Catherine Thorne. What do you think of them? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Rings Start a bell. Why? I did find some. Oh hell! You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. They're safe and beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. It's fine. <sighs> Just a token. I don't expect anything. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later, all the same. Sure. What about Catholic Thorn? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. Yeah, but not when the absolute's involved. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his oh. allegiances truly lie. <sighs> okay. I want to talk to all that's happened to us. Alright, so now we're back to normal stuff. <laughs> to Bloom in Darkness Night. Sorry, darkest night. A gift shadow heart, a night orchid. Her favorite flower. Always knew she was a softy. Something good here. I hope.
Can I jump like a superhero? Alright, as I'm time to get you to jump. Come on, man. What do you suck at jumping for? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could break that. Yeah, I could totally do it. Let's go over here. Let's move. All right, me. Fall by my hand. <laughs> Okay, I guess maybe not. Well, oh, as hello. I'm pretty sure you can jump over this, you're dexterous. His lack of athletics checks are really starting to wear thin. All right, path interrupted. All right, Drink right here. here. <sighs> Come on. As you got to stop being so pathetic. How can you not jump up there, man? Alright, I need everyone else to move out of the way. He was able to jump on this side, which is the same freaking height, isn't it? Let me see. Okay, you can do that just fine. Alright, you know what? Fine. We'll use up a potion or something. Glorious vaulting. There you go, now you're a superhero. <laughs> Easy. One. We have your crossbow out still. No time to rest. What's in here? I thought something was missing. All right, luminous gloves. Radiant orb gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receives one turn of radiant orb. What's the radiant orb do? Is that one of those ones that float around you and ha attack things? Affected enemy has minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. Uh. It also sheds bright light in the areas surrounding it. That actually might be good for um, Shadow Heart. Statue of Saloon. Alright, Mood Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequences in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Halfred, in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the name Last Light not be a potent... Oh, a portent. Uh, let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. This is another game where I want to change the font. Make it a little bit easier to read. Lunar idol, really? Are you in need of a paperweight? Yes, exactly. Mm. 
Alright, he didn't break his legs on the way down. Now That's good. Ever believe this. Alright. At the ready. You know, one of these pots probably has something really cool in them. <laughs> I don't care. There's just too many. Any other time, I'm just like, yeah, loot everything. When it comes to that, just screw that. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Oh, speaking of traps, here, I'll have you disarm that tripwire in a sec. Where's our pot? <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. interrogation transcript official interrogation transcript Harper in charge Caledove Everspring transcriber Luna Shorn your name doll doll timber ma'am occupation farmer ma'am potatoes a farmer hmm how many guards is Thorn station at the south wall doll timber what do you mean, South Wall? Do not play a fool with me, Timber. The Moonrise Tower Wall, or Moonrise South Wall. I don't know why I read Tower somewhere. Um, I don't know. I swear it. Liar! Write this down, Luna. Dorm Spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said write it down. Everyone loves a good murder weapon. I don't know why it's not interacting with them like it should be. But yeah, the main issue with the vases over there is that they're just hard to reach. Let's have a look. So it'd be really tedious. hidden in the back. Ring of Twilight. Treader of Twilight. You gain plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. Oh, okay. What's your Making me sweat. Concentrating on a spell. Rage weapon attack steal. Okay, yeah. That can go. Alright. What now? Like some darkness stuff actually might help her. No one stopped me yet. Don't like that would be more of an as ring, realistically, but I don't know. The self plus two and stuff is great.
All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Alright, so there's some goodies up there. And a lot of whatever over there. So that's where we want to go, but I want to link up with the rest of the map here. Real quick and... What path lies before me? Oh, for a second there, I thought you found something scratch. Might be useful. Something harder than an anvil smacked it. Alright, so this leads over to there, too. Scratch. What'd you find? Is it right here? Good job, Scratch. What a good boy. What a good little man. Let's give you all a pet pet. I can't pet him while we're out here. Okay, fine. We'll give you some extra lovers when we're back at camp. There was a battle here once. A yeah, large no good. one. Fallen druids of the Emerald Enclave. They died trying to stop Catherick Thorn long ago. Oh, wait, that's... yeah. The Price of Pride. A record of Catherick Thorne's speech to his troops before his victory over the Druids and Harpers. Take this, you there. Take this from me. That is gold, friends. Let those who are coveters and cravens among you take my gold and go. That's enough to keep you warm in winter. But in those cold and lonely winters to come, you will look into the bought flames in the purchase hearth and see a bargain for peace. And then you'll realize that such a retirement comes at the price of pride. Go on and take it. Take it and go. Those who are not afraid, and I... We won't stop you, but neither shall we know a winter in which the coin of regret is idly spent. Instead, we shall know blood and fury and a triumph worthy of a flame reconcilable only with heaven. I swear it. Against us, a raid is a group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let us raid them, friends. Let us grow rich on the screams. Kind of a dumbass speech, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let me uh, start organizing this stuff. Did I already read this one? Yeah, I did. Is this my junk drawer? No, that's my books. That's right, I got rid of the junk drawer. Alright. One, two, three. One second. Yeah, 
it looks like you got a voicemail. One second. Available tonight, bro. Come on. 24 hours notice. Is that too much to ask? Hell, that's even the le legal thing. <laughs> Fuck. These companies, man. Oh, that's right. I was gonna get on with it. check what her gloves are. Where it gains advantage on melee attacks when surrounded by two or more. Those strength saving throws. But yeah. Get rid of this. Still alive. So that's progress. A long way to go still. She's constantly doing radiant damage. Can't give up now. Free skulls. Okay. On my way. I think that's everything over here. Yeah, now we're linked back up. I mean, I think we can check over here, but I'm pretty sure that cinches the map. Yeah, because we can't go up. Oh, yeah, we can. I see it. Shut up, Scratch. You already did that. <laughs> Doofus. Weapons are good century old, I'd say. Quite the vintage. Alright, I don't want to get too far from you, sir. So Keep a blade close. You should really learn to jump. Yeah. I have a lot on my mind. And blood well, of torch in it. It's ancient. Blood of torch. Never a dull moment. Just be on the safe Moving side. In. What's hiding here? That's good stuff for him. I was gonna say, you coming, Carlac? You're just gonna stand there like a doofus. <laughs> okay, so this way it's a dead end. All right, and then this is the last area we haven't explored. Oh, this is where we killed them. Okay, so we've done everything else. Alrighty then. Wait, when I have a torch out, I can't see invisibility or something? Oh, maybe it's when I'm transitioning. Weird. Damn, it's good to be alive. It really is. What to do? Okay, 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to lose four health for no reason. Let's get going. Breathe deep and move. Check this stuff. Look, I swear I see a chest. Okay, yeah. Alright, the gang's all here, but as. The hell, as. Someone there. Being a wuss again. <laughs> At least things have stayed interesting. Oh. Is that blood? No, never mind. One day I'll catch a break. All right, we're trying to go to this bridge first. <laughs> I didn't realize we could just walk across. This does look like it's seen better days. Oh, is this that other bridge? Fallen members of the Emerald Enclave. Casualties in the war against Catherick Thorne years past. Anything of use? So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so, uh, uh, probably safest to skip it. Nah, you should. I'd harass you. Are you Kazdor's only spawn? Obviously not. I mean, have you not paid attention to his stories? <laughs> Kazador, sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family. Even when he was carving scars into our flesh. Aw, oh, buddy. <laughs> I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all but did take special pleasure in my pain he said my screams sounded sweetest oh buddy and now that i'm gone I, I don't know i pity the other six maybe we'll save them if we get a chance how about that Looks empty. Ah. 
Alright. A map has been etched into the disc. Risen Road, Winds, Mountain Pass. Um, and the orders. Okay, so. I've already seen it all. Nothing important. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne. Letter of Surrender. General Catherick Thorne. It is with a heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your Dark Justice, your Ar Ar Justicar army. Under unanimous agreement, Harpers work against villainy and wicked whenever they, wherever they find it. So states our code, and so here we have acted. But I also know all too well how the statement continues. But they work ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Wraithwin, and indeed of the greater loss of life that this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, and perhaps beyond it. So it is written, and so it, let it be done. Kelvin Aruns Arunson, on behalf of the High Harper Council and its allies, two words are slashed across the bottom of the scroll, surrender declined. Yeah, that's the problem with surrendering. Sometimes the other person doesn't want to have you surrender. And there's nothing that can force them to take you in. Sure, they might get charged with war crimes later. That's later. They might not even live that long. <laughs> Especially in Thorm's case. Here we go. going through here where we were going to anyways. <sighs> Just see what we can do from the outside. Mason's Guild. That explains all the big stone I was seeing. for me. Ooh, goodness. A piece of candy. Let this be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. What was that? be a warning 
Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. Ah. Nice sit down. <laughs> Bark skin recipe. Frivolty gave me a glimmer of hope today. I took precious time away from research into platinum scale to help a gnome. Oh, this guy or girl, whoever it is, this person. I've seen them before. Uh, her guinea pig was trapped in a bramble and briar, and the gnome wanted something to toughen her skin. I helped her, and the gnome kissed my raw, scaleless hand and left in left in good cheer recipe for one elixir of bark skin extracts needed salts of gnarl tree bark suspension of either mud method wing or laculite method combine and shake that should do it when in doubt with alchemy help a desperate guinea pig pluck him from the thorny sprig then serve him up with serve him up his tea Whatever that means. My success with Barkskin has led me down an avenue of experimentation that could cloak my aching body um, in scales of hard, shining platinum. Writing is harder with my left hand. The right one, uh, the gnome kiss, is seized in a claw of agony. Generally, my pain is ab abominable, but for the first time in a while, I have it. I do hope. Or I do hope uh, a small note was added to the addition of the text. It simply reads, I saved my guinea pig. <laughs> I miss having a guinea pig. Wait, where am I? I've got a long road ahead. Done searching inside. <sighs> that might be worth a look. A pile of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Here lies the Grand Mason, his bones and lies exposed. And someone crushed it. Huh. Here lies the grand do mason. The <laughs> his bones and lies exposed. Hey, more infernal iron. Lump hammer. Weather chisel set, nice. Look, now we can recruit Chetney <laughs> with the offer of some free uh, tools. I got chisels. Speckled tart. Oh, wait. 
I don't know, I just felt like doing that. <laughs> There was something you could do with all the rotted stuff you find. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorne. Have originated from somewhere nearby. Yeah, we've been finding them this whole time. Have you not been paying attention? Damn, Shadowheart, sometimes you're slow. <laughs> like, she's just slow on that uptake. So we're back over here. All right. Well, let's go that way. See what this hatch does. What? Where are you going? Ooh, fuck. Alright, so looks like there's some archives down here or something. Not archives, um Yeah. <laughs> there's stuff. Alright, but I'm gonna take a quick pause, I'm gonna go grab a snack real quick. Beer back. Oh my god, what I don't the hell? Is... Prophet, you read me? Come in, Prophet! Come in! Damn it! We just lost your squad leader. Suit readings and location signal are negative. What the hell's going on down there? Prophet is MIA. I repeat, Prophet is MIA. I've got two men down and something just grabbed Prophet. It dragged him into the jungle. He's gone. We're gonna pull you out of there, son. Sit tight and I'll get a bird down there to you ASAP. Negative, sir. I can still complete. I've got intel on Rosenthal's location. Oh, that's being cool. being held at an excavation site somewhere near a Korean military base. I'm going at it. It's your call, son. But our GPS system is being jammed. Provide no tactical support this time. If you can locate and disable the jammer, I'll run a satellite scan of the area and see if we can locate that excavation. Copy, Major. Much appreciated. Yeah, punk. Oh, man. 
Flush him out. Flush him out. <laughs> Man, I don't that. Really pushing me today. <laughs> They're all making the same sound at the same time. Oh, that's creepy. None of that. Yeah, I was hoping they would have a historical figure in the game, at least uh, when it comes to race in a good way. Uh, there's a show which is like 10 episodes, 12 episodes, something like that. And then there's a movie. And uh, Afro Samurai was really well done. Plus, it's got Sam Jackson as the guy. Man, there's a lot of people in there. Nice miss, Rima. Oh, so many. Hey! Super effective. Seriously, this music is awesome. It reminds me of Tekken Tag and all of this. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. <laughs> you see how far he flew? <laughs> Give this thing a try. Uh, pretty decent speeds. Like, how did you get there? You see that shit? you cheating motherfucker he spawned right in front of us i <laughs> grab one of the oil filters yeah like legitimately <laughs> i don't think they make it in you know five five six or whatever it is does run very well it does run good it ain't about well, how it runs it's about how it plays i'll take one vincent and then once we get the last two we can carry them out no need to uh, hold them in our hands yeah no problem man damn i fucking knocked him or something what hang on a second hey boys i gotta prepare you for this right. it's, 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 like it's a rough one there we go Morning. Fucking so many rounds went through attack. its body Damn, this is tough, bro. Keep a blade close. Hard move, Charlie. One more time. No, don't take your eyes off my hands. Damn. <laughs> I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. One whole goal. <laughs> I think shooting zombies is actually helping my anxiety levels in the game. You really don't have to read all of those here. 
We have all of those back at base. Oh, seriously? Like all these books? Yes. Even the recipe ones? Yes. Okay. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, I was trying to like just get some education going for my character because I'm like, well, we got nothing else to do while I'm sitting here. It looks like it's 8 a.m., so there should be fun stuff to do. What the fuck? That's an OSHA violation. <laughs> Try that again. I got the augers I needed from this place, so I'm good to leave soon if we want. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, wait. I think he's one of the passive things. Hey, found a passive bot. Beastie, you, you have insulted Do my honor, be alarmed. Alarmed. You must Law die. and order will be restored. <laughs> like he's talking place. shit like Brick did yesterday, but he, he doesn't want to touch me, so it's all good. Oh, good. I found you. Uh huh. Huh? He's just scared him. Huh? 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 <laughs> They're just so scared of me. So both of you get to live. It's like thing one and thing two over here. Left side has a gunner again. The base is under attack. There I go. Leading stop. That was a good try. I got him, I got him. Alright, let's go. like we built our stuff out too far from the condensed area so we couldn't really cover everything and just ended up fucking us. So if we would have built closer together, it probably would have worked a lot better. That seemed way too spread out. Also, why did they put all the ammo crates on one side and none on the other? Wait, so I can't play it all now? That was my first death, man! Come on! This fucking cheater, dude. It's like, oh no, you're gonna get in me, aren't you? Let me teleport. <laughs> Too far. The amount of getting stuck I do is this Sebastian just pisses me off. 
Like, ah, he doesn't move right. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> and he's so slow on top of everything. It's like all the Bastions on the team all running together. <laughs> team Bastion. Then, extend it quick draw on the pistol. There we go. Yeah, I'm running to, the, to you guys. Give me. Level 2 backpack here for some reason, someone's missing one. Uh, is anyone more oh, okay. I'll take it. Extended quick draw for the Chris. Someone that we oh, know. Yeah, I fucking remember. XD, XD, XD. Okay, we gotta get going. 30 seconds. Okay. Arch was. Oh, Arch is trying to like catch up with me or something here. No, no, no. There's a. There's a car. Oh. I'm in car. Can you car? Suppressor? Uh, it's next to the car. It's on the floor. Oh. On the floor. Back out. It's back right of the car. Oh yeah. Now I can tap out 30 rounds. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's perfect. Four by. Closing in on the path. Pull back along the path. I think the two times here. Put the two times on my fucking mini 14. Uh, anyone want to? Anyone want an angle to grip? Uh, compensator, you're gonna drop a comp. Actually, no, I'll do that later. Let's just go. Angle for grip, flash hider. Circle. Circle. Go, go, go. Let's kick it. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Nemesis smash. We do this together. Yeah. Look at. Yeah. That's how yeah. snipers do it. This vector Fast has so many hard. fucking accessories on it, it looks like an AR. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what I've always liked about Far Cry is you can walk every 20 feet and shoot something, and it's not a good guy, <laughs> unlike most games. She can get me my weapons back. Sweet. Crap. Don't die, and... No, wrong button! Oh god! <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> I would have thought it would have been the jump button. <laughs> yeah. I didn't wait for the control to pop up. Whoops! Oh, now I don't have a gun person. We're gonna steal an ATAT. -AT. Nice. What a good plan. Get him. Searching the area. How did you survive this time? Okay, I'm back. What was I doing? Oh yeah, check in this basement. <laughs> Out of sight. Out of mind. These boots have seen everything. Really surprised there's nothing down here. Well, I guess yet. Nothing down here yet. That's curious. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something down here. I'll check it in a minute. Hup. 
Let's see what this does. I think I have a key for it. No, I did not find a key. What now? Should be easy. Never a dull moment. Easy thirty two. <laughs> Never wanted the easy path. Congratulations on finding this place, thief, but your journey ends here. Oh, fuck. Don't be traps. Or oh, it's a sweet ass maze. That's curious. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I was like, let's avoid that. As a boy, it's probably going to blow up in your face. There's nothing in it. Saved in a bit. <clears throat> I don't quite see what would be doing that. Let's go this way. What is the chair? Friggin' everywhere. No shot that I can sneak up on him. <sighs> okay, let's go straight for the front and uh, we'll stop short. Have Shadow Heart, bring up Spirit Guardians. You know, it's supposed to be to long rest. But I lost the condition again for it. I'm ready. Well, that didn't last very long. What's the story? 
can't afford any mistakes. Watch initiative order. Might as well. Well, so much for peace. I really wish I could hold attack. Let's turn someone inside out. On my way. Actually, yeah, let's do it on you. Oh, wait, he stops being turned? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, shit. Time to push my luck again. These boots have seen everything. Alright, anyways. What? I didn't get a swing on that? Oh yeah, because I already did a reaction, that's right. <laughs> I always think that you should get more than one action. Or, uh, reaction. 14 save, they rolled an 8. Failed the saving throw. Ugh. What's wrong with you? Yeah, buddy. What's the plan? All right. Let's do the most harm possible. Oh yeah, he's walking that way. So. Heading there. Can't be restrained. The hammer's gonna fall. Find a route. Oh. 
Ah, oh, that's right, they're immune to bleeding. <laughs> means I can't use my bike. Alright, as finish it. And oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I keep thinking he can throw his knives. Actually technically technically. Ah boo. That throwing was a bonus action. Visitors. Still breathing, despite everything. Better not be cursed. Calloused hands work a hammer and chisel around a massive slab of rock. Months from now, a face will take shape. Mm. You can almost taste the sour ale that once clung to this soul's breath. He was insensible when the shadows came for him. A distant memory of a man stretching his back with a groan. Another day of hauling masonry blocks done. Happy, faded memory comes to you. A woman walking along a beach, holding hands with her husband to be. Before the shadows, there was once a house full of warmth and children's laughter in this one's life. No more. Well, at least I freed them. Don't mind if I do. Mason's letter. Alfred, you're probably surprised that I'm writing, though no more surprised than me. <clears throat> you warned me of Thorn's malice, yet I took up a hammer and trowel to build that cursed tower. You warned me of coming war, yet I built the prison that would contain his foes. You warned me. I did not listen. It is my deepest regret, and I must atone. I know more about the tower's construction than anyone and possess uh, innumerable tools and supplies besides. Gather your allies at last light and let us devise a plan to infiltrate Moonrise. Cethric plans for war. He expects to face halberds and staves in light of day. We will end him with a dagger to the back before he can so much as raise a blade. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope that you'll try, your brother, Morfred. Alright, where am I? No time to rest. <laughs> Ooh, you got silver. Yes. Easy gold. About that plate. <laughs> oh, I forgot to check that one. Then we'll check the room on the way out. You sense this one hid for days as the sounds of battle got closer and closer to town. You didn't even care who won so long as it ended. <sighs> Poor little guy. What the? Oh, okay, cool. 
was X. I'm gonna press tab. <laughs> Speaking of, let me quick save. Mason's log. How quickly things change. The thorns are salunite. Uh, through and through. And so I believed. Perhaps Catherick only converted for Melodia. And with her death, and then his daughters, his faith died too. But to turn to Shar, it, beg it beggars belief. Uh, Catherick's Justicars are growing greater in number, and more determined to root out any trace of Saloon in Rithwin. Sorry, Salune. Um, why do they think this town was built? One cannot rip out the foundation of a building and expect it to remain standing. Brother and I remain the last two bastions of our Lady of Silver in this town. A few, the trusting few, come to worship in secret by moonlit nights. Other converts, others, converts all. Whether they truly believe, I cannot say. Impossible, isn't it? Sick of standing idle while Jessicars gain power in our humble, humble town, what will become of us if we allow if we allow it? I met a man who was no man, touched by a devil. Or maybe worse. But he offered me something I couldn't refuse. Help. The time is now. Catherick's Jessicars, their stronghold in the temple below. They will be wiped out. All of them. I didn't ask how. I just want them gone. Let the Harpers have a uh, Catherick now. They'll make short work of him. Gotta love making a deal with a uh, a devil just for it to not even work. It's just wasted your time. All right, let's get as do your thing, sir. Uh, actually, before I do what that, am I to do? I'll just knock this out now. My Watch your back. Disarm. What? Alright, that's a first. Roll again. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll be a challenge. No one back home will ever believe this. I'll give it a shot. Another step forward. No traps, please. How much of arcane acuity? Battle acuity. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. Dexterity saving throws plus one. Considered light armor. What helmet are you wearing? How delicious. Ace helmet, okay. Probably stick to that. At least things have stayed interesting. Affected entity has plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls. Okay, so useless. Just sell it. Unless a shadow. What kind of helmet you wear? Okay, maybe it'd be useful for her, because I don't really use her invisibility. I've got a long road ahead. There's no time to waste. So dorky. She looks like that girl from. Um, you know what? Maybe we can use it later. I'll keep it on her. Um, she looks like that that girl from uh, Lord of the Rings. I am no man. <laughs> I love to. Thanks. All right. What now? Wonder if the gods are watching me. 
You know, looking at you as, you really need to uh, roll better on your damn level ups for your health, because it's goddamn lagging behind the rest of us. out in a minute. Rich fertile land. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Tower in detail, depicting profusion of local fauna, deer, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with special emphasis placed on areas for prolific foraging. Well, I can't pick it up. I only can always pick up maps. Alright. I guess. We finally have a shirtless outfit. Fit. Okay, let me see what this one looks like first, though. Oh, it's actually kind of slick, but. Okay, I'll take the red pants. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. Looking for a shirtless outfit. It feels weird going to bed fully clothed, let alone with just pants on or whatever, but you know, it feels really weird that your character is like dress dressed. that carefully drawn diagram of moonrise tower a circle of red ink draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's prison someone's marked a spot at the base of moonrise towers worth a look That's not half bad.
stone mason friends. Oh, it's doing that shit again. Ooh, knock. That could be useful later. Pretty sure there's no other entrances or exits. Hey, check this one. Calloused hands work a hammer and chisel around a massive slab of rock. Months from now, a face will take shape. Oh, yeah, okay. I heard that before. Oh, let's get out of here. or nothing. I should speak up. What's up, kid? Hey, I know you. You're. Yep, I'm raw. Twist him up. <laughs> nice, kid. I see you learned something from the druids. Isn't that Arabella? The little girl Korga nearly killed. Nice. Sorry. It knocks the wind right out of me. I'd be more impressed if you actually killed it. Um, that's a powerful spell. Where'd you learn to do that? That druid idol I took? It changed me. I can do all sorts of stuff now, not just the vines. I think real hard and say some loud words and then it happens, mostly. <laughs> How about you teach me those powers of yours? Mm, maybe. But you've got to help me first. Me and Mum and Pops. We follow Zevlor out here, then he... He... Well, there was an ambush. Mum yelled, run! So we ran. I could hear him running behind me. Till I couldn't. Still can't find him. But I bet you can. You'll help me, I just know it. <sighs> okay. I'll find your parents. You can count on me. Oh, thanks, mister. I knew you'd help me again. The vines won't last forever. I don't... Don't worry, I can kill him while you hold I him. don't suppose I can stay with you. Just till you find Mum and Pops. I won't be any trouble, I swear it. Of course. You stay in my camp. Oh, thanks. You're the best. So you send Mum and Pops there. I'll be waiting, hero man. Alright, let's kill these things. Ha! <laughs> Good. 
I'm going to enjoy this. The free. matriarch's flush of pride. She will soon be a grandmother, and the child will bear her name. Muldred. I feel like I've you heard sense that name a swell of grief. Before the shadows took her, this woman mourned someone lost in battle. Here. Thorn Mausoleum, South Central Square. Wait, that has Thorm's name With on haste. it. Maybe it's important. I mean, we'll check it out anyways, but... Huh. Maybe he'll tell me his damn weakness. memory of Reuven Corley, who lived stoically and died without complaint. I had a bag of holding. <laughs> Seems simple enough. <laughs> I want her to read that one out loud. All right, in memory of Kayla Bellsworth, thrice married, thrice widowed, always smiling. In memory of Kayla Bellsworth, oh, thrice married, thrice widowed, always smiling. <laughs> Every time I hear him barking, I think it's something important. Here lies Sister Kevin, a more devoted mendicant never lived. What's going on? Fun work. Here lies faithful Jamie, the love of all our lives. Behold the mortal remains of Marvy Below's town crier died loudly. Here rots Tristan Brumwit, philanderer and wicked excuse for a husband. May the crows use his marker as a privy. Here rots Treston Brumwilt, philanderer and wicked excuse for a husband. May the crows use this a marker bit. as a privy. Who loves caress? Fond caress. One of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding bond. A creature wearing the matching ring. I don't know if I'd want to chance that, <laughs> depending on what's attached here. They gain resistance to all damage and plus one to their armor class and saving throws. I mean, I do want it, but I don't want to wear it right now until I find the other one. <laughs> See what here it's lies Micaeus, taken before his time. Aww. I'm guessing this is the wife that, you know, is lying here with him. Here lies a nameless foundling. May he know peace at last. 
Here lies Gertrude, the moon's monsoon Rafferty. She came and went like a natural disaster. Oh, I've heard that one before. I'm pretty sure that's actually from uh, Fable. Like, wasn't that exact thing? What's inside? Yeah. You know what? I haven't done that in a while. There it is. Here lies the best smith in Rythwin. Our swords will never slice as true. Your rest, Callister Freeclaw, legendary brawler, died in his sleep to the surprise of many. Yeah, that's what will happen when you got a lot of head injuries. It's the kind of future I, I have to look forward to in a way. And I hope if it happens in my sleep, it's at least interesting. Like, I hope the dream gets extended forever the way it feels. You know what I mean? Or at least I'm trapped in a good dream, if I'm going to be trapped in a dream at all. Ice bite robe, nice. I want to just see how does she do in claw only 13 and even with the brace of defense it would have been what 15 it's pretty poopy can't give up now oh yeah we got to read all these books <sighs> I'll wait on that though I got stuff I gotta do first. No, it's the potions. There it is. Oh, okay. We don't stack. Good. What? Ah, oh, okay. I see. We'll do it the quick way then. Send the camp. Oh, wait. Send the camp.
Send to camp. Send to camp. Give to our boy. Soon. What'd that do? Has disadvantage on dexterity and charisma. Oh, you get drunk off of one. <laughs> That's fun. What's up with that? I'm ready. Hey, you. Yes, fire. Huh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting right, times. I'm just not gonna think about it. Moving Probably ahead. A glitch. Might not be a glitch though. these damn spam numbers lately just pissing me off like I don't know who gave my number to what but they need to be punched in the face repeatedly here rests Violet Goldhammer beloved singer may her voice live on in our memories oh you know what I haven't tried I don't know if y'all remember fable but since we were talking about it nothing but dirt <laughs> I am actually going to save real quick and see if that fixes a lot of these issues. I kind of want to sit there and manually read every single one of these. I'm just going to grunt me out. Oh, why am I so tired today? I mean, I guess sleeping without a blanket was pretty bad. So I was doing laundry. Um, I did my laundry when I left for work last night, as far as the sheets and stuff. And I had a spare set of sheets, but I didn't have an extra blanket right the second. So the only blanket I did have was one of my old army ones. And I was like, that's fine. So I did my, um, my stuff, and it was still wet. So I ended up putting it through the dryer again. Then, you know, waited the hour, whatever it was, took my shower when I got home from work, went to grab my stuff, and it was all still wet, and I'm just like, what is going on? So I ended up grabbing the blanket out, and it was somewhat damp, but, you know, it's enough that your body heat could get rid of it. And I was like, nah, it's still, but I should say, that was still too wet, and then, um, yeah, because it wasn't until the third time I ran it that I went and checked it, um, and my pillowcase was fine, and the sheet that I was going to use. So I ended up grabbing the sheet and the pillowcase and ended up uh, trying to sleep with that in my old army blanket and it just was not working. Like, I was alright. I was sleeping. But it was like army sleep where it's just like, oh fuck, I'm, I'm sleeping but I'm not getting restful sleep. So even right now, I'm like, man, I could use a nap. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was going to restart the game real quick. <sighs> See if that fixes our issue. It seems like every two hours, if you restart, it like fixes a lot of the Baldur's Gate issues. But it is annoying that you have to restart it all. I 
am not a fan of that. Why is it doing that? Yeah, let's see what that does. That's so weird. Why the hell is it doing that? Alright, give me a sec. Well, let's. The fact that I have to do it twice. Ah, oh, that's a 4K. No, this is the camera. It wouldn't really tell me anything. I think... Oh, man, it must have got bumped again. I don't know. I haven't moved this camera, moved the setup at all. But it feels like it keeps getting moved, even though I'm not even touching it. Like... Alright, so this is on... Fifty percent, I think I left it. You can go up to eight K. Yeah, that's four K. You can set the six K. It doesn't really bother me. All right, I guess six K is what what the <laughs> thing needs, so that's fine. And I didn't notice until I went and saw me against the black screen. Well, no, up there is being weird. What is going on today? Okay, that looks right. <sighs> Nope, now there's a giant dot up there. What the fuck is happening? Alright, let me restart my lights real quick. See if that fixes my shit. Wow. Why does that work? I have to seriously ask. Like, without my light on the green screen and it's working fine. I mean, yeah, I look a little weird, but... What the fuck? Alright. Anyways. Don't think about it. Just don't think about it. That'll be the easy solution. Just don't think about it. Everything looks fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. The last thing I like to do just to make sure it's fixed. Restart the camera. Because the new camera likes to do things like be smart. And I don't like that. Just stay at the settings you're at. Stay at the zoom. Stay at all that stuff. Stay at the focus. And don't fucking touch anything. God damn it. It's doing the thing again. Yeah, why does this work so good for, as far as lighting? Like, but when I put this on, it like weirdly darkens my face. Oh man, this camera makes no sense. Damn it, Elgato. Fix your shit. <laughs> Alright, uh. In memory of Warwick Marsh. Dearly missed by both of his wives. Nothing interesting buried here. Some of these people, man, they were living that fable life. It's like, I can have 16 wives, one in each town. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ah, so lame. I want to hear all of them. Here lies Largo Crivens, the younger, taken. <sighs> Fuck. Here lies Largo Crivens, the younger. Taken along with his family on the same grim night. May their deaths be avenged. In memory of Largo Crivens, taken along with his family on the same grim night, may their deaths be avenged. This was the younger. Here, less Darla Crivens, taken along with the family. Dedicated to Pila Crivens. Here rests Pat, loyal dog of the Crivens family, taken along with his master. Good boy. 
Aww. You know, as weird as that is when I had my dog and all that stuff, I always hoped that if there was a home invasion, I didn't somehow, you know, fight them off or whatever. You know, if I didn't survive, I always hoped my dog at least would, but I know she would try to go down fighting too. My dog was In super loyal. In memory of loyal. Brent Crivens, taken along with his family on the same grim night. May their deaths be avenged. Ah, oh, yeah. I do like vengeance. But I always, yeah, I always hoped that she would live through it, you know. Maybe, like, live with my mom or whoever. Realize Tom... Thomason... Peeper Breaker? What the fuck? His names are so annoying Behold, sometimes. Behold, the glorious remains of Draven Mistbrook. Poet, epicure, romantic, and medium. He should have lived to be a thousand. <laughs> Thomas Fever Breaker, Midwife, and Wise Woman. Okay, so maybe it's not Thomas. How do you say your name? Maybe it's Danison. Come on, read it for me. Come on, lady. DM. I request a read. <laughs> Here lies Thomasin Fever. Oh, it is Thomasin. Okay. Midwife no, and about. wise woman. Lies Front Hallow. Man, a few words. Okay, so we saw this. Light on my feet. I like avoid going into here. No traps, please. How's I do it? Well, that sounds ominous. <laughs> Let's go this way. This is one. Here lies faithful Jamie, the love of all our lives. Did I already see this one? Where am I? Oh, yeah, this is front gate. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we saw all the stuff. Healing house it is first. Well, that's creepy. Alright, let's get ready for a fight. What's in here? I... I know that corpse. Arabella's father. Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions. Switches. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. Aww. You died during the war. I will sell you what I can once I've stabilized the patient. Okay, why are you treating the dead? Not dead, merely medicated to ease the pain. I see now, they're sleeping peacefully. I think your work here is already done. I'm good at deception, so we'll hit this. Hit one of these. I didn't even get a chance to click it. But luckily I can use my inspiration. <laughs> Something just holding on to something. Like I literally moused over it and it rolled. <laughs> I wonder if that happens all the time. Yes. Yes. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Yeah, that's sort of. Might I purchase some supplies? Not much left now. But you're welcome to look. What the fuck? 
I saw that. <laughs> Purple worm toxin. Coat your active weapon in a toxin that deals an additional 1 to 10 poison damage. That'd be real nice. I'm only selling it for 25, I'll take that. Looks like she just has lots of poisons. Oh, you got Siobhan? Jesus. Take that. Give me all your gold. <laughs> I did just send a bunch of stuff back. So. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Oh, she must have been like a combat, uh nurse or whatever you call them, the ones inside the um, the tents, the like the mash type shit during triage. Camp. Let's grab all our crap and steal all her money. Speak up. I heard y'all having a conversation. <laughs> hey, you. Having fun. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? Well, your parents are dead. I found their corpses. No. no I'd rather no, be no. honest. I don't believe you. Sorry. Wait, what was Mom and Pop's name? I could have been wrong, actually. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, I didn't get the... Okay. Did I quick save anytime recently? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I was right. That, that was her parents. Well, my bad, kid.
is literally everything. I feel like I'm not collecting enough stuff like I used to. I'll do better, and the patients will be better, and it will all be fine. You're fine. Still not feeling better. Let me trade. Let's see if I can help you. Oh, you seem nice. <sighs> Here's some food for your patients. It's dead like they are. <laughs> I actually do want these. Okay. You can have the rest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to tend to my patient. Okay. Oh, okay. That's full. Of we'll go in there in a minute. Wait, they got violins in the game? Well, I know what I'm equipping onto my guy. Fuck the loot. Thank you. 
I wonder if there's a way to roll higher without taking a bard feat. I guess it has to be poor performance. Like it's like zero shot to roll decent for it. Anyways, sounds like horror music. I know this song. Dun, 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 dun. It's from the uh, character creation screen and all that. An old map in a druidic style of what appear to be hidden roots to Emerald Enclave. Oh, this is that one we read before. Get to Baldur's Gate. Uh, I thought you were getting aggressive on me. I was like, all right, let's do it, lady. <laughs> So many balls for the puppy. Okay. Now to read stuff. Healer's Ledger. The Rethwin House of Healing's inventory of various poultresses, tonics, and potions. Supplies appear to have dwindled dramatically in its final days, and upon the book's front cover is scrawled a message in black ink. Just cars only, no exceptions. Mason's log. How quickly things change. The thorns and the thorns are salunite through and through, or so I believed. Wait. Okay, yeah, I've already read this one. Letter. Pretty sure. Logbook. 13. This hefty book is labeled 1371 and stamped with an elegant stag against a dark green background. Six Uktar sent two druids, some of them newer recruits up north. Village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive next winter. Nine Uktar, a group from Baldur's Gate arrived. They set up camp on the edge of the forest. Two bears and a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half the fox cubs died. Paying this new group a visit tomorrow. Ten, Uktar. Visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they'd cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared to stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. <sighs> okay. Twelve Uktar. Mudslide did the trick. 
buried half their farming equipment and made the rest useless. They won't be back anytime soon. Got reports of Red Wizard in the village south of here, sending three rangers to investigate. If they catch even a whiff of a red cloak, I'm contacting the house of Savannas. So maybe that red wizard we saw was something special. Jake's Encyclopedia of Eels. Oh wait, we read this. What's this called? Harvest of Memory. I'm so used to other games leaving the title of the book inside the book. It's really weird they have to read it and then like read it outside of the book and then read the actual book. All right, brought to the shadow fell, which is a reflection of the world you're in and a dark reflection too, rife with wickedness and twisted echoes and despair by their Raven queen, the Shardakai are elves, not elves as you might find along the sword coast, but elves that reflect their home with their physiology and attitude on the whole. They are cruel, nasty-minded people who are nonetheless singularly devoted to their queen and her domain of power. That domain is life and death. And in their unwavering fealty to the mistress, the Shadar... Shadar <laughs> Kai. The Shadar Kai performed the thankless duty of ferrying the memories of the dead for her to admire in any kind of memory-based menagerie. Harvest of Memory, uh, Flow of the Kyanthar. I think we read this one, but I'm not sure. Here you find a rich history of the Kyanthar River. Evidently, it flowed through half a dozen settlements, more and more springing up over time. And the picture this book evokes is the last, is that last a hundred years, one of barges drifting over the orange water under a burning autumn sky and the bar just smelling of cast wine, salted pork, exciting spices, less exciting spices like rosemary, which is still fragrant and nice, but altogether not terribly exciting. <laughs> and children running barefoot by the banks, waving to the grinning, sweating sailors from their play among the river reeds. Sarah's of Luskin. This cultural analysis spends a good number of pages on Luskin. Tucked like a gold filling, or some would say a pus filled abscess, at the mouth of the river Myrar, Luskin is a city of merchants, princess, merchant princesses, swarthy bandit princes, and the most diverse cutthroat and fractured, fractured cabal of pirates on Toril. Torn into factions, these practical groups are known as ships. Oh, piratical, not practical. Ugh. Here the book details each faction with a frankly dizzying attention to detail. The one point of interest is that the ship Kurth faction are in fact controlled by a secret mercenary company of Drow. Ah, so the Kurth are probably enemies this point bonded by love wife's diary in the fifth year of our union we faced the biggest hurdle yet my parents became quite ill and we became their caretakers it was a dark and difficult time filled with the uh, with emergencies of every possible type gone were the easeful days in which our time was our own our days were filled with work each other and little else during our darkest moments, I wondered if we'd survive, but the bond of our of love we had was resilient. It could bend and bend and bend and bend, but would not break no matter the pressure. All right, so let me sell what I can sell. Send the books out. why 
there's two separate ones, but all right. I'll do better, and the patients will be better. Still not yeah. feeling better. Let's see if I can help you. Excuse me. Okay. Man, why am I so tired? I don't know, maybe this part of the game is just really relaxing. Right or something. Alright. That's a bit of blood I saw before, and then all this. Oh, sleep potions, nice. Surgeons in the room. We can't use it as a weapon. Oh, that's so cool. Class action, hand me my syringe. Equips the surgeon with a crusty, rusty syringe, allowing him to cast. This won't hurt a bit. Which does. 12 to 68 damage. Piercing. 8d8 plus 4. On save, target takes half damage, but fuck, okay. That's going to <laughs> that's going to him right now. Huh? There you go. Okay, maybe not right now, but yeah, later on he's definitely gonna use it. Let's see how it works. The eh, lantern gives do. off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery, sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly me oh my, you must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Uh, sure. Oh, the pixie is the ultimate choice, but who are you? My name. My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? Need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel through the shadows? It would be my pleasure, truly. Once I'm freed, I'll help you, duly. I'll wait till closer to you needing to us not needing you I should say what's this mechanism at the base of the lantern I dare not name it newfound friend 
The faintest touch could spell my end. Okay. I'll be needing I'll gut you like a ten-day-old if you don't release me right this moment! There are many ten-day-olds. <laughs> Never give them enough rope to hang you. Alright, anyways. No, 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 no! A pixie! An honest-to-goodness pixie! <laughs> Not what I expected to run into in a place like this. How do I activate the ability, though? Hand me my syringe. Maybe it's, uh... There is uncanny dodge. I've been looking for that. Damn, I was wondering where the hell that was. Maybe he has to be a specific type of character to be able to use it. But, all right, for now, I'll swap to his sword. At least things have stayed interesting. More for me. Very well. Oh yeah, I just saved it in a bit. Just trying to get to the roof. Huh. Cool. Open this cage, you mounting asshole! I wish I would have never checked yet then, but at the same time it's kinda of funny. Her later. Oh, almost to the bag. Blood bank bottle. Surgery kit. Hey, does that actually work like it did in the D? &D? Oh, maybe not. Probably not, actually. Oh, as I got a present for you. It's probably not actually doable, but I found blood. Yeah, I suppose if it hasn't been kept moment. cold, it wouldn't. It would just coagulate and be gross. Can y'all like get the hell out of the way? Another step forward. What a day! 
what to do. <laughs> Maybe I need more pockets. So maybe this one has anticoagulation and this one doesn't. Uh, it's always good to have anticoagulants. What path lies before me? I don't feel like that lasts. Let me out, let me out, let me out! Watch out later. Busy. Need your light. No idea what I can do with all this blood. from before here to see the doctor are we poorly are we desperately poorly oh not so well but well enough to wait join the line and you will be seen I don't have time to wait I need to see doctor now no thanks all right I'll wait be patient be well Okay, let's save like that. You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Okay. Be patient. Okay. You're okay. Oh, not so well. All right, we'll wait here for a minute. We'll see what happens. Because if I move, <laughs> she gets upset as spaghetti. short rest in a little bit. Let's hit that real quick. There, I have my superiority dice back. Well enough to wait. Join the line. Let me see the doctor right now. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. See, my wounds may not be visible on the outside, but I still need help. Oh, I got a parasite in my brain. hint of recognition in her eyes as she studies you. The unseen wounds of war. The doctor's hand will close them. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. Thank you. Best be on my way. I waited my 30 seconds and then I went full Karen.
This whole area doesn't really light up. Oh, is this that guy's stuff? Okay. Wanted by love. Husband's diary. We're being a uh, entry 47. We're being attacked. My brave, beautiful Miranda volunteered to fight. She says it's her duty as a cleric of Shar. I can't bear the thought of anything happening to her, but I know she'd be angry if I said anything. I'll pray to Our Lady to keep her safe. Entry 48. Miranda woke me in full armor. A smile on her face. She got down on one knee and proposed. A beautiful obsidian ring on her hand. Of course I said yes. As a cleric, she was able to marry us then and there. Blessing the rings as she slipped them on our fingers. I'm terrified for her. But I'm also so happy. I know she loves me. I knew it. Or I knew she loved me. I knew it. Uh, entry 49. Miranda faced down an entire troop of harpers. Killing every last one. She didn't have a scratch on her. Blessed be the Lady of Loss. I tried to prepare a celebratory meal for her, but I had a dizzy spell. Blood poured from my nose, and Miranda found me passed out on the floor. She told me to get rest. And not to bother going to the House of Healing. That it was likely the stress. She's right, but I'm still scared. Entry 50. I know Miranda said not to, but I went to the House of Healing. Blood leaks from my nose and ears, and there's strange wounds all over my body. The nurse kept asking about my ring and when I told her myself and Miranda just got married, she looked at me strangely. When I asked her what was wrong, she sent me home, telling me not to come back. There are black spots in my vision and I can't feel my legs. What's wrong with me? What's happening? Shit. That's fucking rude, dude. So if you weren't keeping track of what was happening there, the rings, the rings are being used for her to get hit and he takes the hit. And that's why she has no scratches on her. All right. Um, where's the other one? Oh shit. I need to sell this stuff. I completely forgot I had it. Where the hell am I? There we go. Alright, before I do that, I'm gonna go this way. Seems simple enough. What's up for discussion? I'll do better. Still not feeling better. Let's see if I can help you. All right, portrait of a woman. All the paintings go to the camp. What do we have now? Visibility plus player. See, so yeah, that's one where I can have 10 turns of invisibility. Alright, so I'll keep that on me, kind of like how I keep this one on me. Now, if you will excuse me. The other end of the ring must be back at home. We'll check the camp. Unless I accidentally sold it to her, but I don't remember doing that. Oh, 
since I did so. Shit. One of the magical pair rings. This allows the wearer to cast Warding Bond once per long rest on a creature wearing the matching ring. Keep your distance, darling. My faith protects me. Well, hello. Damn, it's good to be alive. the other ring. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I thought I just found it on the husband. What the fuck? Maybe I did sell it to her. I did check. I'll do better. And the still not feeling better. Let's see if I can help you. Yeah, I remember selling that one. Oh, there it is. So yeah, I did sell it. Now, if you will excuse me. I've got to tend to my patient. Okay. Okay, so now I have them both. This one's for me. The other one's for Carlac. Plus one bonus here. Oh, I'm scared. It's not really that useful. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. There. Now she'll take the hits, so I don't have to. As always. Feeling better. Let's see if I can help you. I don't know if I read the surgeon room. I need to check. Okay. Now, if you will excuse. I think that's everything. Moving ahead. going to read that. That's right. Memorandum. All Wrightwood uh, House of Healing Medical Personnel from the head surgeon Malice Thorn. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetic resources on the elderly and the mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such abject nonsense. 
Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade. Not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So ha saith Shar, only in the infirm suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. I'll give it a shot. Let's for supplies. To the chief. Chief Churrigan. Harborside Hospital, Baldur's Gate. From Sister Lidwin. Dark Cloak, Breathwind House of Healing. Urgent. Dear sir or madam, we have reached dire times in Rith Rithwin. War has come. Do you not teach that it is our duty to mend all who break, comfort all who ail without guard for the gods they worship or the champions they heed? Yet our surgeon Malasorm abides by his own creed, the will of Shar. He might say, and I dare not argue with him or any Thorm. He allows supplies to dwindle, leave some patients, injuries, too faster so he may study and commands me to nurse only dark just scars that seek treatment i beg you sir or madam please deliver us aid so i might close every tear and cleanse every wound even those of harpers and saloon saloonites um we will humbly accept all you can offer potions herbs sutures even clerics help us to heal with gratitude and a lid them Witness the songs of the ladies whisper of each slice. Only soldier can we show our subject mercy. Okay, two things. One, we should pass without a trace. Did we already use that up? Not Two. used to lying low. Here goes. Oh, that was going to get punished. doing <laughs> hate when he does stuff like that 
but I don't want to go this way. It's like, yes, you do. <laughs> Simple. Looking ahead. Minds their business. I'll be fine. But that will fit in my pack. Find a way forward. <laughs> no one stopped Actually, me yet. Do I have the key? Still alive, so that's progress. With haste. Breathe deep and move. Don't touch me. Can't give up now. What now? Uh, if I gotta click someone ten more times, I'd be so mad. Like, damn, I clicked his name like fifteen times. No one back home will ever believe this. Watch your back. inside swift as my feet can carry me He was over there. There was something that popped up down there. Let's see if I can see it again. Oh, sister, sister Patricia. I thought that said something, something parasite. Might be useful. What do you mean? Come on, it's fucking game. There we go. <laughs> Tell me I can't have something stupid.
Death and Divinity, a godly, a godly guide. God. Fuck. Seriously, broke it. Man. Face this doctor. I feel like we're gonna have to fight. Could be wrong. This way does seem to be going this way. Waiting with bated breath. Only with unwavering hand can we show our subject mercy. are sharp sisters need to keep focused to your scum mm. so that i may say the same of them With unwavering hand can we show our subject mercy. I thought she would well, be fine. Well. Apparently even she gets Turn affected by it. The fire. If I do. Just in case we fuck up. I'd love to, thanks. Only with unwhisper mode can we show our subject. your deal. Oh, it's nice Malice Thorm, eh? That's a friendly looking shadow. Your eyes are sharp, 
If not over, then through. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Alright, um... Don't wish to study, only to lift the curse. Student, yes, do enlighten me. Uh, you'll stop the sick spectacle at once. What wrong has that man done to deserve such torture? Yeah, sure. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel led journey that leads from pain to peace. What the fuck is this loon talking about? See? What is the light of eyes, eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. The sisters and their implements. Do an investigation. That was garbage. Roll again. Oh, come on. I right, one more inspiration. Fuck this. Jim. Well, I'll take it. I actually didn't mean to press that. <laughs> you are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. Oh, now I can add the bonus. For some reason it wasn't there before. Fucking gross. Come on, plus four. Yeah, there we go. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Blades are uneven. Efficient surgery will require further training. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. Uh, many 
a better subject to practice on first. Not a student, but a master. I like that one. Let's see. Come on, roll high. Ha! I see now. By example, I must edify and quell the light that blinds us. Come, sisters, soothe me. Yeah, that's about what I was hoping was going to happen. Be still, darling. Let Sister Anya comfort you. Oh, I thought you had something to actually say. Saw something on the board. So that's Vanessa. That's Janae. That's Julia. Cured. Oh, yeah. Be cured. I thought I saw a sister Anessa walking around. The nurse has nothing to say. May we rest in Okay, let's see what all we got from you. Surgeon subjugation and paralyzing critical once per long rest when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Battered loot, supply pack, 68 gold, the hair, hook, 
Eagle's Feather Subjugation. And buttloads of XP. Keep track of that sort of stuff. Is that blood? No. Never mind. So we need 2,000 more. So probably like a couple more big fights. Alright, let's get out of here. Anything of use? Training. Complete. Oh, I almost missed the Mind Flayer Parasite right here. So I did see the word Parasite earlier, maybe. Wish I had a bag of holding. I can't use it. Useless and limp. Spinning and clear. Though dead, it's still can still be admired, I mean, I guess. Shah's blessings upon you. One of the best things is uh, being able to make friends with all the ghosties. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to fight that guy. Just kind of let them kill him. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think that's everything I can do here. Alright, let's get out of here. So we're almost to what quest was it up here? Found a loop bearing his initials. Oh shit, I didn't sell it, did I? Okay, that's it. Let's see. Let's see what's out this way. Damn it, I 
just about to tell her to automaton up. No choice but to keep going. Okay, so those people might be absolutists. Yeah. Have to keep going. The fact that that's even possible to just swing at nothing in the middle of combat is so dumb. Snap my strength, not like that. Knees high. As far as the lantern isn't saving them from the thing, I guess because it's not friendly. What did you hit? Shadow job fight. All right, I guess. Oh, they're already undead. Oh, okay, that's why they're not considered friendly. She only moved like five feet. What the fuck? Really? One of those times where I'm like, she feels so useless. <laughs> like she's great for some things, but mostly she's just a heal cannon and nothing else.
yes. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know why I said don't react when that's exactly what I needed to happen. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ah, oh, enjoy your ban. Go fuck yourself. I don't like spam bots around here. Alright, uh, what are we doing? How much further can I go? <sighs> Alright, I think... Let's see what this does. Down here. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna take us longer than 10 minutes to get through, so I am actually gonna pause right here and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Alright, that's gonna be it for me today. Like I said, I hope you all had a great time. I know I did. Let's see, dad advice for today. Dad advice is you are valid and your way of thinking isn't weird, it's just unique. So keep that in mind. And for today's shenanigans, always be naked. We can't see into other dimensions. But nothing says they can't see they can't see us, so we gotta establish dominance by showing them our thickness. Yeah. Pretty true. <laughs> um but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I'm honestly exhausted. I might take a quick nap, to be honest. I didn't sleep very good earlier. Like I said, wet blanket will lead to that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, have a wonderful evening. It's been Beard. Later. <laughs>